It's time for another episode of Tips and Tricks. I'm Barb Owen of HowToGetCreative.com, and I'm so glad you joined me today. Today, we're going to talk about something that we haven't talked about before on Tips and Tricks, and that is my friend, my sewing machine. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to talk about, and I'm going to show you about using the free motion cording foot. So here's an example of what the free motion cording foot does. It actually stitches cording down to the machine or to the fabric through the machine and it looks like it's floating on the fabric. So I'm going to show you how we do that. So my machine is all set up to do the free motion cording and it has a foot, a specialized foot on the machine. And so what you see here is this foot, it's a straight stitch foot for this cording foot on this brand of machine. And most brands of machines have a foot that it may look a little different than this, but most machines will have some kind of foot. It's usually an accessory foot. And so you need to check with your dealer or the manufacturer of your machine to find out what foot is required for your specific machine. And there is a little thread guide you can see over here on the side of the machine right here that usually comes with the machine and you have to install. In this case, it just clips into the machine. It's very easy to put on there. I just leave it on all the time. The other thing that I have on for my machine is this is the cord that I'm using back here. And this cord is on what's called a thread lift. So that's the stand down here. So it sits on that thread lift. It goes up through the hook at the top and comes down and feeds through that uh, little thread guide that I showed you just a minute ago over here. And then it actually also feeds into the foot. So you have a special little threader that comes with the foot and you just put it into the foot. You get it all ready to go. The feed dogs are down because we are doing free motion stitching. So the, that means that the feed dogs are down or covered depending on your machine. And in the top, I have monofilament thread and I'm gonna see if I can find it to show it to you. So this is, you can see it right here, right? That's the monofilament thread. And this, this one happens to come from the Superior Company and it's called Monopoly. Looks like the word Monopoly, but it's called, it's pronounced Monopoly. All right, so I'm stitching on a piece of this is just happens to be duck cloth and this is free motion stitching so if you think of this in terms of paper and pen and ink you'll kind of understand what this is the this is the paper this is the pen and the ink is the thread so instead of moving the pen and having the ink come out that you do when you're writing on paper when you do free motion stitching you're going to move the paper and you're going to let the pen and the ink flow onto the paper or the fabric in this case. So here we go. Now, one other thing I need to tell you about the way this is set up. Um, this is a straight stitch foot, as I said. So what we're going to do is we're going to check this and you always want to make sure the presser foot is down. We're going to check this and see if I have it set right. I'm going to set, even though it's at a straight, this is a straight stitch foot, there's a little bit, just a teeny little bit of room, extra room inside that foot. And so instead of it being a straight stitch, I can get away with what I call a wobble stitch, which means I can set it for a, just a teeny bit, less than 0.5 millimeter stitch, but it wobbles just a little bit. So it catches this cord a little more um, exactly. So here we go. So we're going to stitch. So I'm moving the paper. Okay. And so I'm just moving the paper, or in this case, the fabric. We're calling it paper just because we're kind of using that ink and paper and pen kind of illustration. But I'm moving the paper underneath the needle. So I'm moving it under the needle. I'm going to set it so the needle stops in the down position. So I'm moving. I'm in charge of, in this case, the fabric or the quasi paper, just to use that illustration. And I'm just letting my needle, which stands in for the pen, do its work and put down the ink 
which is my thread. So it's very easy to do. And this looks like it's just floating on the surface because I'm stitching with the Mono Poly thread. It's easy and it's really fun. So you can do fun things like, you can stitch your name. So we'll just put, put part of my name here. But you don't want to stitch too fast because if you stitch too fast, you can make yourself a little crazy. It's more important that you stitch evenly than it is that you stitch with speed. Okay? And you can do whatever you can do, whatever direction you can steer the uh, fabric in, that's where it will track and stitch down your cord. So that's the free motion cording foot. Now, a couple of other tips I want to give you. This stuff right here is called Amazing Tape. And it is plastic, it's a clear plastic, comes in a couple of different widths. And when you have things like this cording, this cord is very uh, slick and it wants to fall off the spool. And so when you're storing it, if you use something like the Amazing Tape and just wrap it around that, it's plastic, it sticks to itself, does not have adhesive. <coughs> And so it will just wrap around that spool and it will hold that cord in place so you don't waste any by having by letting it fall off the spool. And that's very common with machine embroidery threads. You know, anything that's really slick, it just slumps and falls off the spool and then you waste a bunch of stuff. So if you'll use that amazing tape around your embroidery threads or couching threads, anything like that, it really saves you a lot of headache. Let's see. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's all the tips and tricks that I have for you today. So if you don't have a free motion cording foot and you're interested in using this in your, in your uh, fiber art or in your sewing and your decorative work, or you can even use it with fabric paper. I use my sewing machine with paper a lot. So, I mean, there's all kinds of applications that it's just whatever your imagination can come up with. Why not try it and see what it'll do? Come on over to Ustream on Friday and you'll see what this is going to become, what we're going to do, because that's going to be kind of fun. It's kind of a fun little surprise. This is Christmas in July month, you know, and so there, everything has kind of a gifty kind of a theme about it. So come on over there, find out what we're doing. The channel is Creating Faces. It's at 2 p.m. Eastern. You'll find all the links for things that I talk about here. In this video, you'll find that in the description box right below the video. There's also a place to leave a comment if you have a comment or a question. And yeah, I will be uh, happy to see you over on Ustream. Check out the blog at howtogetcreative.com and check out any, any of the other videos we have on the blog over there. Sometimes there are videos there on the blog post that don't show up anyplace else. So you might even want to check that out. So I will see you on the next, well, I don't know when I'll see you next. Hopefully I'll see you Friday. If not, I'll see you in the next tips and tricks video, which will be coming up in a few days. Thanks for joining me. And, you know, remember to get creative today because it's easy. See you later. Bye.